The Ghana Export Promotion Authority, GEPA, reported $2.423 billion as total earnings from exports of non-traditional products for 2011. This represents an increase of 48.74% over 2010's earnings of $1.629 billion. Announcing the 2011 performance for non-traditional exports, the chief executive of the GEPA, Mr. Osu Achimai, disclosed that the sector continues to be driven by value-added products such as cocoa and timber products. Available statistics from the Ghana Export Promotion Authority indicates that the non-traditional export sector on the average grew steadily at an annual rate of 16.4% from 2001 to 2008 with the highest rate of about 30.4% occurring in 2007. This performance, however, dipped in 2009 as a result of the global economic meltdown in that year. The 2011 export earnings from the non-traditional export sector exceeded set targets by 33%. This was driven by agriculture, handicraft, processed and semi-processed products. Cocoa paste topped the 10 leading products, breaking in 673 million dollars followed by canned tuna, cocoa butter and cashew nut. The produce were exported to 146 countries, out of which Togo led the pack of 10 leading non-traditional export markets. However, the European Union market continues to be the leading market of Ghana's non-traditional exports, absorbing 45.72% of total export. We have embarked on what is called the enterprise development approach. Whereas before we were, it was just open for all. Now it is still open for all, but we do target specific enterprises. The Minister for Trade and Industry, Hana Tete, stressed the need for the sector to take full advantage of the ECOWAS market since it holds immense opportunities for sustainable growth of exports and trade. She said the government will continue to introduce interventions to facilitate the growth of the sector. If we are going to be able to make Ghanaian exports more competitive, then what we've got to do is to figure out how we can get them from those business establishments to the ports where they are going to exit Ghana as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And how we're going to make sure that the process of those products leaving Ghana and the bureaucracy that they have to go through is reduced to the barest minimum. And we're also going to have to have the mechanisms to ensure that those products can be traced from their point of production to the, right down to the detail of the batch that was produced and the date on which it was produced, all the way to the end consumer. Madame Tete also launched the 2011 National...